everyone welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this is the lecture three so till now we have covered two lecture if you have any doubt you can uh, comment there and i will try to reply you so in today's lecture we will try to cover two topics that is uh, the first topic is time domain analysis of simple pll and the second topic is type and order of the pll okay so first let's cover this uh, uh, first topic time domain analysis of uh, simple pll so let's uh, remove this second okay so i have created one block diagram of the pll in this uh, diagram i made this uh, uh, lpf using rc filter okay and uh, the vco i made using uh, ring oscillator okay and i considered that the v in is equal to sin omega in t and v out equal to cos omega out t okay so at t equal to zero i am considering that this omega in is equal to omega and uh, omega out is equal to omega minus del omega zero which indicating to you you can see there is frequency error of del omega zero what is frequency error frequency error is equal to omega in minus omega out so if you will remove this uh, uh, omega minus del omega zero from omega you will got del omega zero so that is your frequency error at t equal to zero and you know that vc is equal to zero at t equal to zero okay so since vc equal to zero whatever frequency you are getting at output that is equal to omega free that's why i wrote this okay so see i'm explaining this omega out we know that it is uh, uh, k omega free okay plus kvc ovc so t equal to zero your vc equal to zero so this is cancel out so whatever omega out, omega out is there at t equal to zero that is your omega free so that's why i wrote this okay okay so now now i want to do some analysis time domain analysis of simple pll and i want to keep uh, this pll as open circuit okay and uh, then i want to analyze analyze this uh, uh, each block i want to analyze i want to see how the pll will uh, react and after that i will close it and then i will see okay so in first case i'm keeping pll in open okay so now first i'm keeping this pd okay this is your phase detector this is v in and this is v out okay and there you are getting v error so what is your v error now v error will be equal to you have to multiply these two sine omega in t and cos omega out t okay after multiplication you will got one by two sine two omega minus del omega zero t okay and plus sine del omega zero t okay right so now you can see this is your frequency error okay and you want to vary your uh, vc with respect to this omega out t sorry uh, this uh, frequency error according to this you want to vary your vc so your output frequency can vary accordingly so for that purpose i have to remove this high frequency component okay and this i can remove how I can remove using low pass filter okay so now see what is your phi error phi error is del omega zero t this is your phi error okay or if you want to calculate it we can say like this also that phi error equal to omega in minus omega out dt and what is omega in omega in is omega so it will be omega t after integration or you can say okay or you can say like this and then omega minus del omega dt okay and then this will cancel this and you will got del omega dt okay phi error integration after integration this will become del omega t zero del omega t okay so see it's similar now let's go to the second slide so that's all uh, uh, which we got from PD in open loop. Okay. So this is the VRR and this is your phase error. So what about uh, uh, low pass filter? Second is low pass filter, which is uh, made by using R and C. Okay. So this V error is feeded to this uh, RC circuit, RC low pass filter. And that output you are getting VC. Okay so i am drawing its uh, frequency spectrum diagram so this v error will come there will be two component we saw already there are two component one is at two omega 
and one is at del omega zero. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is at del omega zero. Oh, I mean zero. Sorry, let me move this. Hmm. There are two component. One is at del omega zero, and one at two omega minus del omega zero. Okay. Now let's make it again. One component at del omega zero. Let's take some different color for this del omega zero and one is at two omega. What is the second minus del omega zero? This is your high frequency component which you want to reject. Okay, so you have to keep your frequency, I mean, the bandwidth of this uh, low pass filter in such a way that it is it will reject this component okay so let's it is like this okay so this part will be rejected okay and this is your 3 db omega 3 db which is equal to 1 by rc so your uh, uh del omega zero so what is the condition we have to take how we have to choose this omega 3 db we have to keep it like this it should be less than this should be less than from this right and this should be greater from this so it should be 2 omega minus del omega 0 so this should be our condition okay this should be greater this should be less see then only you can reject it and what you get at vc vc will be 1 by 2 after rejection of this term okay you will got this and multiplication with this so it is 1 by 2 sine del omega 0 t so this is vc so now let's go to the uh, vco so in case of vco the input is vc and output is v out okay omega out is the frequency so the omega out is equal to omega free plus kvco dot vc what is omega free we saw already that it is omega minus del omega zero and then kvco dot vc or we can write the equation the value of vc what was vc vc was half sine uh, half sine what del omega zero t del omega zero t okay so let's write value of vc so it will be half sine del omega zero t okay so now let's convert into phi out phi out will be omega out dt integration okay now put the value of phi out so it will be omega minus del omega zero okay dt plus in kvc will come out to integration sine del omega zero t dt okay or we can say since this term is constant we can say it will be phi out will be omega minus into t and this will be what it will be plus kvco by 2 uh, and integration of sine del omega 0 t dt phi out see we didn't close the loop till now and we are seeing individual blocks what output they are keeping and loop is loop is open okay so now let's see how we will plot phi error and v error with respect to time okay so first let's plot the phi both we can plot okay we have phi error and there i can keep v error this is two part okay so what was the first case the first case was the phi error was equal to del omega 0 t okay this was phi error initially when the loop is open right now loop is open and phi error was this much okay we saw already this thing right see this okay so what is v error? V error will be 
it is uh, uh, 1 by 2 sine phi error t okay phi error t and what is your phi error you can see from here okay so let's draw it so in this case you can see with respect to time this is linear so it is like this okay and what is v error if your uh, phi error is varying okay with respect to like this t is varying so phi error is varying so this is varying so how your uh, v error will be v error will be okay, let me take a black pen let this is zero so and uh, this max mean can go to minus 0 0.5 and max it can go 0 0.5 okay so it will be sinusoidal it will be like this okay yeah first is done now in third case in third case when in response to vc frequency changed then phi error okay so let me write so what happened now the phi error is equal to del omega o t plus kvco by 2 integration sine del omega 0 t td okay what i did see i'm writing the equation the phi error we have to write here i can write okay. phi error t is equal to what phi in t minus phi out t okay so what is phi in t phi in t is omega t omega t right and this is your omega minus del omega uh, 0 t and then minus kvco by 2 integration integration of uh, sine del omega 0 t then dt. so by this this will be cancelled out okay and you will got this del omega 0 then plus kvco by 2 del omega 0 okay this will be this was plus so this will be minus okay and this is like this so now we have to see what would be the uh, phase error how can we plot this thing okay let me remove this so what we are trying to see here here we want to see in response wait a second yeah it is in response to the change in vc the omega out will change okay if your vc change your omega out will change so phase error will change right but your pll is still in open okay if your omega out will change your phase error will change and according to that we want to check the vr okay so see this is linear so this linear and this sinusoidal this is sinusoidal so how we can plot it so the plot will come like this okay yes and now in how will be the v error see now there is a linear term and plus there is a sinusoidal term so when you will plot the v error so the v error will come somehow like this so let me remove this okay so it will come like this and okay this case is for uh, sorry this case is for this and uh, this one is for um, this let me remove this yeah now the third case in third case we locked pll sorry pll is loop is closed now loop is closed case number three this is first case this is second case now the third case is loop is closed and what will happen this time this time omega out will become equal to omega in okay so when this omega out will become equal to omega in for what is, what is the condition required for this that we will see first let's uh, think that uh, omega out equal to omega in 
okay so in this case in this case your pll will be unlocked for some time and then it will be locked and you will got a finite constant phase error so it is a constant phase error okay so that is the condition of your pll locked so here your pll is locked in this case pll is unlocked because your fire is very there also fire error is very pll is unlocked in this third case case number third your PLL is locked, you can see that phi error is constant. Okay. Now, what will happen in this case? Since your phi error is constant, this is constant, so your V error will also be constant. So initially it will be very like this, and then it will become constant. Okay. Yeah. So this is your third case and this is your case number one and uh, this is your case number two okay so now see what is the condition for making omega out equal to omega in okay so for this see we know for this we know that omega out omega out equal to what omega out equal to it is equal to omega free plus kbco dot vc what is omega free omega free is omega minus del omega that we got initially and this is kbco dot bc and now what we are saying that omega out equal to omega in okay what is omega in omega in was omega now put this equation first and two in this equation so this will become omega minus del omega plus kbco dot vc equal to this is omega so it will be cancelled out so you can say that vc will become kvco okay so this is the condition required for making omega out equal to omega in so your vc vc should be equal to del omega divided by kvco okay so this is one important equation let me mark some star okay so that was about uh, uh, the time domain analysis of simple pll now we come we are coming to the second topic and the second topic is uh, type and order of pll and we will see on what uh, the order and type depends okay so let's make a block diagram in s domain because we want to find out the type and order so we will use the s domain so in s domain there will be fine okay and this is kbd right so this is uh, phi out this is phase error so yeah phase error and this is uh, lfs this is v error this is vcs and this is kbco by yes we in previous previous lecture we saw that how this is coming okay and this is phi out See, in PLL, we can't work directly on this uh, phi in, phi out. That's why we need something which can give us the phase error. Okay, So that's why we were using the mixer and by using mixer, you were getting the uh, phase error Okay, that we saw already. Okay, So what is the type? Type of a system. Type is number of integrator in loop. And what is the order? Order is number of poles in the loop. Okay, your LFS is equal to one by one plus SRC. We saw already this. Okay, if we are making this uh, low pass filter using RC circuit, we derived this uh, in last lecture also. So if you have any doubt, you can go in previous lecture and you can check it. So this is tau. We kept it as tau. Okay. So now, if I'm checking its uh, Gain that will be open gain. I'm checking so it will be kpd lfs dot kvco by s. Yes. So it will be kpd dot one by one plus s tau dot kvco by s. Yes. So how many integrators are there? There are only one integrator. Okay, and how many poles are there? There are two poles. One pole is there and one pole is there. So there are two poles. 
so what is the type of the system type will be one and what is the order order will be two okay so what do you think uh, on which parameter in this equation this type and order depending so see every time from this uh, uh, vco you will got one integrator one pole okay and there is no pole so it is depending on this lfs so you can modify this lfs in many ways and you can uh, make some integrator here or you can change uh, put more poles here so by which your type and order can vary so we can write here type and order of pll depends on the possibility right because this is not depending on it it's fixed this is also fixed so only this thing can vary and uh, we can vary type and order of the PLR as per our requirement okay so let's take example two if if lfs low pass filter is equal to one plus s tau one into so what is the type type will be one only what is the order order will be uh, three okay why because one integrator will come from which side this will come from that uh, gives you bias right from that it is coming there is no integrator right so this one pole and two there so order will be three so i'm writing for equation so it is lgs equal to kpd divided by one plus s tau one then one plus s tau two and there was uh, kvco by s okay voltage voltage control oscillator from that it is coming so you can see integrator is only one and there are how many poles three so since integrator is one so type is one and order is three because there are three poles now example three so if your lfs equal to uh, is uh, 1 plus s tau 1 s tau 2 okay and what will happen so there are uh, how many integrator one integrator from vco and one from here okay one from vco and one from here so type is 2 and what is the order there are total two poles so order equal to 2 only okay let's write write full equation so that is lg is equal to kpd into 1 plus s tau 1 divided by s tau 2 into kvco by s so see integrator 2 so type is 2 and how many poles two so order is also two okay so in this lecture we understood uh, some uh, timing analysis of basic of uh, basic pll okay some time analysis we did and we saw when the pll is in open loop uh, how the parameter will react uh, how the blocks will react okay that we see how your phase error will change how your v error will change okay that we saw and when it will be close how your phase error will become constant how your vr will constant that we saw okay and we saw the condition to log pll okay that we saw that um, vc should be equal to del omega by kvc that we saw and we all we also understood type and order of pll okay and this type and order is depending on what that is depending on low pass filter okay so according to the system stability we will choose the low pass filter we need second order or first order that we will see in upcoming lectures okay so that's all for today's lecture so if you have any doubt you can comment down and uh, i will try to answer your question so thanks all for joining this uh, uh, lecture thanks a lot bye